What up YouTube, DHR2 Productions, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be episode 3 of Retro Box Art Review. And the theme of this episode, I think y'all know what kind of theme we're talking about. You hear the theme song playing, and yes, we are going to be going Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter 2, that will come later. But for right now, let's take a trip back to 1987 and look at the very first box art of Street Fighter, the arcade game. You know, this game, I've seen on YouTube, and you can tell it's not Street Fighter 2-ish, the way, that, the way that, that, um, that the mechanics are. And the guy who created the Street Fighter game, the first one, he's pretty known in the SNK fighting game world. I think that was pretty much his start because I think he wanted to take Street Fighter on his level but he ended up parting ways with the Capcom and decided to just create his own company which is SNK which we all know of King of Fighters and the art of fighting and you name it. The box art, well the arcade art, it looks really good, you know, it's just seeing Ryu jump kicking somebody while looking at the camera or looking somewhere else, looking awkward as usual, but hey, that's what classic box art looks like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know how I feel about the others at the bottom. So I think this box art alone is their very first. I like the colors of it, the fire everywhere, and somewhere in that picture you see King Masters in there. So whenever you see like a fire dragon uppercut, that probably came from Ken in my opinion. On to the big guns. Street Fighter 2 World Warrior. The arcade game. Now this box art is a classic Ryu front and center. The backup characters, Chun Li, Ken, Guile, Dalsim, E Honda, they're all brand new addition characters into the Street Fighter 2 world. It's something about the box art that just seems unique in its own way. It's just a classic box art, and that's what classic Capcom fighting, well, fighting games in general, meant the world for everybody. So you get Ryu, Chun Li, Guile, and everybody else in the background getting ready to enter the second tournament of Street Fighter. So this box art right here is among the classics and I like it. Now on to Street Fighter 2 World Warrior on the SNES. This box art, I mean this box art is really interesting. You have Ryu getting his behind whipped by Blanca, Chunk Lee, you already kicked Blanca's face in in the back alley with the trash can is. I don't remember seeing that in the game. For some reason, Capcom didn't really think that. Well, you know, that leads me to wonder why would they put have them fighting in the back alley? Unless it's, it's, it's in China, unless it's in Chun Li stage. That's probably what I'm thinking. That it probably, well, why they did it. But regardless, I like this box art. It's classic. Chun Li looks good and Blanca looks like he's been tripping on something and it's really interesting to see Street Fighter 2 World, World Warrior why am I stuttering all the time? What's wrong with me? <laughs> on to um, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition now this is right after Street Fighter 2 World Warrior Champion Edition comes next and we all know that classic intro that we had especially the Champion Edition you have all of the characters that were in well, the final balls that were in the previous game are now playable. Blanca, Vega, Sagat, Bara, and, and Bison. So they're gonna be in the so they're in the game. So, so then you have Gal front and center telling everybody, all the players, you ask for it, and then you got it. You you know what they say. You ask, you shall receive. And then you got it. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition is a modern classic. I love the game, I love the box art of the arcade version, it's beyond excellent. When it comes to the home ports, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, and yes, I used to have the game. Now, 
Special Champion Edition is one of my favorite versions of the game on the Sega Genesis because at least the AI did not go haywire in the other version, which I'll get to that later. But Special Champion Edition is just one of my favorite ones because of this music. And yes, the sound may be terrible, but the, the music itself is so good. And it, you know, Kim Masters has always been one of my favorite fighters in the game because of his Dragon Uppercut and his um, Hurricane Kicks are 10 times faster and he's very easy to use. So I've always preferred Ken over any fighter in the world. But this box art is among my favorites because you see Gal getting it on with Bison when it comes to him fighting in Gal stage with the airport in, should I say, Seattle, Washington. Someone tell me in the comments down below where does Gal live at in Street Fighter? Either it's in San Francisco or Seattle, Washington. Somebody tell me something. But yeah, man, Gal versus and Bison in a fight in Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition Second Genesis cover is my favorite. I love it. Hands down. Moving on. <laughs> Street Fighter 2 Turbo on Super Nintendo. Wow. This game, but the box art is really, is really interesting. You have Sagat versus E Honda in E Honda stage, and then you got, you know what? There's something weird about this box art. If you look really closely, you would notice that there's someone in the middle, whether it's Dolcine or someone else, because I can tell it's Dolcine because he got, you know, what I'm saying he he's got his legs crossed. And I don't know if he's doing this, meditating, but I see that the hamstrings, I see the neck, I see the bottom of his leg. Someone please let me know who is that in the middle of the box art in the comments down below. Now, on to Super Street Fighter 2. Yes, this is the arcade version of the game. I like it. New Fighters, DJ, T-Hawk, Phelan, and Cammy. Big booty cami, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you got your four new fighters into the game, and now you got 16 characters in it. So the game is a lot cooler, but you know how I feel about the Super Street Fighter 2 on the second Genesis. But we're not going to talk about that. We'll get to that by the end of the future. So the arcade version of the box art is nice. Now, the second Genesis of the game. I love it, but I hate it at the same time because of the AI. And But despite that, you get your classic box art of the title, Shadow of the Four New Fighters Entering the Tournament, which is among the classics, like always. Now, the Mega Drive version, they got the classic Street Fighter 2, the logo, um, Street Fighter 2 logo, but it's not like the new one on the second Genesis version. But the Mega Drive version, they brought the Street Fighter 2 title and put the same Super in the background. So, that's really cool to see. And then you got, I think the Turbo version, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo version. Uh, it looks mediocre at best because of the box art. DJ looks fine, Cammy looks fine, but... I don't know what's wrong with Uma and and T-Hawk, but it's it's just there regardless. But yeah, that's my retro video box R2. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Comments down below. The notification bell. So yeah.